Hi, I'm Bob Ryan and this is a video for HomeDefenseGun.net. Uh, today we're talking with Danny, who is a process server and uh, spends a lot of time carrying a concealed handgun. And uh, we're going to talk to her today about uh, a few of the different handguns she's carried over the years and how they worked for her and how she's carried them and what she thought of them. So, uh, I guess we'll start with the, the first one you ever uh, purchased for concealed carry. This one is a Kimber, 1911, 45 ACP, which uh, you bought this uh, how many years ago now? Probably about eight. Okay, and uh, this this one is the uh, the fabled diaper bag gun, right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you, you rarely, if ever, carried this around in a holster, right? Mm, yeah, in the so. beginning, I I, uh, I carried it around in the diaper bag. Right, right, because uh, you, you had your, your first kid there who was a... a you know, obviously a baby at the time. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you didn't find it that easy to uh, to have a baby and a gun on your hip. Correct. Simultaneously, so you you carried this around in the the diaper bag, and as you can see, it uh, uh, the coating on this Kimber held up quite well to a lot of uh, talcum powder and uh, melted crayons and formula and other other things over the years. But uh, it's still in in great shape. You know, it's uh, still a very nice, tight, accurate weapon. Uh, now this one, uh, you you got this specifically because it uh, it actually fit your hand pretty well, and and you shoot this very well. I've seen you shoot this, and you get tend to get good grips out of uh, groups out of it rather. But mm -hmm. uh, but this uh, this eventually proved to be a little big for you. What it is when I actually carry it on my hip because I'm so short. When I sit down, the barrel actually starts to poke into my jeans, and it it right. is uncomfortable. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Mechanically, this this gave good service, but uh, you uh, you eventually uh, switched off to something a little smaller for uh, utility reasons. All right. Uh, the next one that you uh, you picked up is uh, was it the, the Smith or the Glock? The Smith. The Glock Smith. is actually my husband's, and I, I oh. steal it frequently. Right. Actually, um, do you want to? Oh, sure. Do anything? Okay. Uh, this one's a thirty-eight special, Lady Smith. It's uh, Got a very short two-inch barrel on it, as you can see. Very small grip, and uh, and this one just fits you like a glove, right? It does. You know, it's got uh, fixed sights, and uh, it's very small. And uh, lengthwise, this one works a lot better for you in a hip holster, right? It does, and I, I can uh, I can carry it in other places on my person. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about your holsters a little later on, but uh, so this this one uh, it's pretty functional. It's a five-shot gun. Uh, now, when you shoot this, do you, uh, you usually shoot this double or single action? I believe it's double, okay. mostly. Yeah. But, uh, but this thing works pretty well for you, and you, you think uh, you know, it's probably the, the most functional one you've got? I actually, and the reason I, I steal my husband's Glock is uh, it, it fits better, and it groups better, and, I, and, it, and it actually fits my hand better. Okay. That, one, that one's okay for, you know, whenever, but I'll probably be buying a Glock of my own soon. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, I guess we'll we'll take a look at this Glock here. Uh, now, this one's a, a Glock 19. It's a, kind of the the middle sized Glock. It's not a subcompact and it's not a full size, but uh, uh, it's got night sights. Uh, carries a few more rounds than the uh, the Smith. It does. Chamber for nine millimeter, and it's got uh, 15 rounds in it, plus one in the pipe if you if you so. So please, but uh, and uh, and this thing actually uh, this this fits your your hand pretty well. It does, it does, and I, I like the way it shoots. I like the way it groups, and it's, it's more natural. Tends to be a little more accurate for you. Mm-hmm. Right. That and the Kimber are probably my favorite too. Okay, and uh, well, I guess uh, you you don't have any particular preference for it, just simply because it's an automatic versus a revolver. I, I don't. I just like the way it fits better, carries better. Okay. Yeah. You uh, you don't miss the safety on it any over your 1911. You know I don't. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, uh, we'll uh, take a little break now, and uh, we'll come back and take a look at some of Danny's holsters. All right. Well, uh, now we're gonna take some time to talk to Danny about uh, how she carries her guns around because. Uh, as it turns out, and I actually didn't never realize this until I spent some time around a, a woman who actually did conceal carry, but uh, women actually have to uh, make use of a lot of different techniques. Um, for one thing, uh, 
know, a lot of your uh, your clothing doesn't have pockets where mine does. Uh, you probably rarely, if ever, wear a belt, right? Yeah, a, a lot of our clothing, especially in the summertime, I find it's a lot harder as a female to carry concealed. Um, you know, you got your summer dresses and your, your lighter clothes, so, um, you know, I, I do wear lighter shirts with tank tops underneath a lot, but yeah. it, it limits how I carry. Yeah. Well, uh, this particular gun we have here is uh, probably the, the smallest gun that uh, Danny ever carries around. It's a 25 automatic. It's a Beretta. It's a little pocket gun with a flip-up barrel there. It's got uh, nine rounds in it with one in the pipe included. And uh, this thing, uh, you, don't, you don't get a tremendous amount of use out of this, but uh, on, you know, occasionally if you don't have any better options, you do carry this. And, uh, apparently you don't use a holster for this. If you... I, I do not. I actually, I find it as it's a much more convenient just to use kind of the clothing that I wear every day. Um, you, you really can't tell that I carry it. It's easily accessible when, when I need it. And it does, in fact, tuck in there and not wander off. And It, it does. It does. It's, it's fairly secure in there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's certainly one way I'd never be able to get by carrying a gun, but it's great that that works for you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll uh, take a look too at uh, some of your more traditional holsters. Um, this one here is uh, this one's for the the Glock, correct? Yes. And it's uh, just uh, you know you see a lot of these today. This is uh, an inside the the waistband holster. It's leather, and uh, this just kind of holds the pistol in there with with tension between uh, the either the waistband or the belt, right? Correct. And uh, this this thing works pretty well for you. It does. It does. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it works good. And it's obviously, you know, easy to take on and off, you know, if you're going in somewhere you can't have your concealed weapon in like the, you know, the bank or something, then you can just pull this off and, you know, put the whole thing in the glove box and Correct. works pretty well. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, this other one here, this is uh, pretty much the same, thing. same rig. Uh, this one's for the Lady Smith though, so it's, you know, a little shorter, but, uh, you know, it's got the, the clip on there that holds it on. And you've never had a problem with, uh, drawing either of these where the, the holster comes out with the gun? No, that's never been a problem. Something I have found though, as, as a woman, I have a shorter torso than men, and so a lot of these holsters, um, you know, like this one, it, it pokes up quite a bit. Like when I'm carrying it, it comes up, you know, up about the middle of my rib cage. Okay, so it's kind of poking on you a lot? It, it does sometimes. Um, but I, I recently actually found a website called The Well-Armed Woman, and it addresses a lot of that, and I okay. actually have a couple of holsters coming from her. Oh, all righty. Well, uh, those, those are of uh, the, the separate type, like the tank top thing that we'll take a look at? Yeah. I actually, this I got from The Well-Armed Woman. It was my first purchase, um, trying to deal with the whole clothing issue. And it actually, it's a lightweight tank top, and you can wear it under anything. Um, and when I wear it, you can carry on either side. Um, and I can actually carry my Kimber in this comfortably, oh, and you okay. can't really even see it because uh, it holds it up under here. Right. which under your armpit there. It does, it does. And, you know, um, it's secure enough where, like, if I wanted to go jogging with it, I would actually feel pretty comfortable with that. Um, and it, it allows an, a draw if I'm wearing a summer dress or something like that, I can just wear that underneath and I'm able to just draw through the top of my blouse. All right. And it, it doesn't tend to hook up or anything? I mean, it, it doesn't. It actually has um, straps here, <clears throat> but I actually just leave them unhooked. It oh, still right. holds it very well, very, very well it's, in there. It's tight enough it. that there's just kind of tension on it? It like is. The, it's it's yeah. just kind of an elastic band and it fits all of my guns actually in this, this same tank top. and. Uh, there's a holster on both sides, yeah. so if you're right, left, or just want to carry double, yeah. you can. Now, is is, uh, is the bottom of that open? Could it, you put spare magazines in there if you wanted to? It is. You know what? I don't know. You could put a spare mag here. Okay. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't fall through. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a nice unit. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's about all I've got for that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that pretty well covers it. Um, I, I guess uh, if you had any anything else you'd like to offer as a tip for you know a woman who's shopping for a gun or a holster, uh, obviously you know you want to watch out for for stuff that actually fits you physically. You know, given the different sizes of torsos and everything, that mm -hmm. that had never occurred to me. You know, yeah. I figured, you know, 
But uh, I would assume too, like with the, the inside of the waistband holsters, seeing as those, those do ride up and, and kind of give you trouble, it's nice to be able to pull them off when you get into the car. It is, but I, I don't like taking my gun off, right. you know? I mean, it's, it's visible, it's not on you if you need it getting in or out of the vehicle, yeah. which is, I do that a lot, knocking on doors, um, and you never know what's coming. So I just, anybody who's going to purchase one, if you can borrow one or from a friend and go out and shoot it, wear it, you know, sit down in it, stand up, do a lot of natural movements in it, and, and just make sure it works, because that's what I've found. It either rides up and stabs me in the ribs, or when I sit down, the barrel happens to be too long, but it starts right. poking me in my backside, because I'm, I'm short, I'm, I'm 5'2", so yeah. that's mm -hmm. usually the biggest problem. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, you know, I hope this video has been informative.